NTV meteorologist Eddie Shear is standing by with the latest. Eddie, this is one of those moments where pictures say a thousand words. It looks cold, it looks blustery, and it looks really snowy. Yeah, Marcia, it certainly is pretty snowy here this morning. Uh, we're here uh, basically right in our station at NTV, which is on the eastern side of St. John's. And as you can see right now, it's snowing pretty good. Visibility has cut down a good bit. I think the airport has picked up roughly 15 or 20 centimeters of snow so far. And that began early this morning. Some other areas of the city and some other areas of eastern Newfoundland have likely seen a little bit more than this. And we are essentially just kind of getting started with this uh, storm now. As you talked about, you know, to, to start the show, parts of Nova Scotia saw a lot of snow last night. I know Cape Breton Island saw 40 or 50, there's a good gust there, 40 to 50 centimeters last night, which I think was a little more than forecast. And here in St. John's, we're expecting 40 to 60 centimeters between today, tomorrow, and Friday, as this storm is going to be slow moving. And so the snow we have today is likely going to be the heaviest, but it's going to continue for some areas of the island through tomorrow into Friday morning. Oh my gosh, but I thought this nor'easter was moving quickly. Why is it dumping so much snow on Newfoundland? It was moving quickly and it decided, I guess, it liked Newfoundland Labrador a lot and wanted to hang around and get a good look at the place. But uh, essentially what's happening is the storm is really slowing down as it's passing east of Newfoundland and working its way up toward the North Atlantic and it goes to a crawl that essentially stalls out. So when these storms do that, they can drop copious amounts of precipitation. In this case, it's gonna be snow. And in St. John's, again, 40 to 60 by the time we're all said and done. Uh, some areas of eastern, northeastern Newfoundland will likely see over 60 centimeters by the time we're all said and done, which is not gonna be until Friday. And the meat and potatoes of it though, is really today, tonight. So uh, it's going to be a messy 24 hours, but we're going to have to kind of work on the cleanup as we go through tomorrow and into Friday morning. Wow. Uh, so this is really just the appetizer. I'll stick with your food analogy. Um, is everything shut down and is that likely to be the plan for the next couple <laughs> days? Uh, everything is shut down today. Schools, government offices. Uh, we have a, a bus service in St. John's called Metro Bus. And when Metro Bus doesn't even try, we know it's a snowy, stormy day. And they didn't even try. You know, they, they called everything out this morning. Everything's off the roads. Um, yeah, so everything is closed. Tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure we're going to have a full on another snow day for all areas because while it might be kind of snowing in the morning, the afternoon may not be as bad. So we might be able to kind of get some things opened up. But I do suspect the next couple of days are certainly going to be impacted by this winter storm. And we're probably not going to get back on track until some point Friday. So really, you know, it's going to be a messy couple of days here. Um, but big storms, you know, we're, we're kind of used to them here in eastern Newfoundland. Like this is our biggest one since Snowmageddon. Um, which was, uh, as we know, close to 80 centimeters in 24 hours. And we're talking about similar amounts with this system here, but over the course of a couple of days. And while it's windy here now, you know, we're looking at winds gusting 70, 80. In Snowmageddon, they were gusting close to 150, sustained at 100 for like 15 hours. So while, again, amounts are going to be similar, we'll, we'll, we'll be okay getting through this one, but uh, the cleanup's going to be, uh, it's going to be a chore. Eddie Shear for us, NTV meteorologist in St. John's. Eddie, thank you for all of that. We are thinking of you.